Hey all your Saab freaks and welcome back. Today I'll be changing the fuel filter in my 2002 Saab 95 Aero. I'm using a Bosch fuel filter, this is the OEM part, part number 04509052000. And the fuel filter is located under here on the right side of the car. Now if your car is a Biopower 95 that means that you have a fuel filter inside the tank and you can't change that one. So this applies to Saab 95 model years 98 to 2005 except the BU power models. You don't really need many special tools, I'm using standard socket wrenches, but you would need uh, vinyl gloves, some kind of catch can for the excess fuel, penetrating oil and the fuel filter. Now we're under the car and you can see the fuel filter here. Uh, the tricky part about replacing the fuel filter is that you need to lift the car somewhere and I put the jack stand here and it's right very close to the filter. Hopefully the jack stand won't be in the way. So first we need to remove this cable tie that holds the plastic cover in. Just going to use a standard piece of equipment here. Get it off, then try to get the cover down. And now we can see the filter. So these ones usually get rusty after a while. And uh, I have this retainer with a, uh, with a bolt, then two bander bolts, one on each side. Let's begin with some penetrating oil. So let the penetrating oil work for about 5 to 10 minutes to make it easy. My filter was replaced just last year, so I'm not expecting any problems getting it off. But I just checked and this is a 10mm, this is a 17mm, and this is a 19mm. The rear one though is a bit difficult to get to. I couldn't fit a socket because there's a, a bit of the chassis in the way, so I had to use one of these normal wrenches. I'm gonna start with the retaining nut. I'm just gonna break everything loose before I continue. Okay, so that one was loose. Next we have the front banjo bolt. And now for the most tricky bolt. It's very hard to get to apparently. I can't seem to get enough torque on the rear bolt, so I'm just going to remove the filter first and the front banjo mount and see what I can do. Yeah, so as I said, the rear bolt was very difficult to get off. And the main difficulty here is that I can't get enough torque to actually break it loose. So what I'm doing now is that I'm taking a 22mm socket and I'm putting it over the filter itself. You see it fits very nicely here. This means I should be able to hold it enough to get out. That didn't work either, so I'm actually putting back the retainer to hopefully increase my leverage. Alright, so with the retainer back in place, my idea is that I can put the socket here and then the retainer will hold it in the other direction. There she goes. Man, that was a hard one. And you felt like you would break the retainer and the banjo hose, oh, sorry, the fuel hose. Whew. 
now we take the retainer off again. That was way harder than I thought. So the front bolt's really easy to get off, but the rear one really, really was tight. New fuel fitter in. Remember, the arrow is supposed to point to the front of the vehicle. I'm doing everything right today, so I'm getting new copper washers. For the front bolt, the smaller one, the diameter is, I think it's 13 millimeters in the diameter on the washers and 18 on the outer. These washers are always so cheap, it's a worthwhile investment to get new ones. Okay, so that bolt is finger tight. And for the rear banjo bolt, we're using washers with inner diameter of 15 millimeters and outer diameter of 20 millimeters. So both banjo bolts are now finger tight, I'm just going to tighten down the retainer now so I can get enough torque on those bolts. And it seems like I've bent the retainer from my from my struggle, so I just have to bend it back and then fit the socket over it. Alright, so let's snug down the rear banjo bolt, 19mm. Then 17 millimeters for the front. And to get enough torque, I'm just going to use both at the same time. Good. So that is a brand new fuel filter in my Saab 95. Before I put back the plastic cover, I'm actually going to go ahead and start the engine to see if it works. And also make sure there are no leaks. We are finally, finally done. So as you can see, the fuel filter job in itself isn't very complex, though it's, it can take a bit of time to just get the old bolts off. So lessons learned. I think it's best to wait with the retainer for the last, so you get enough leverage onto the other bolts as possible. But the problem is still that the fuel filter only hangs in this retainer, which doesn't keep it clamped down. The filter can actually rotate by itself, even though it's clamped down. And you want to protect those fuel hoses that are made out of rubber so you don't uh, destroy them while trying to remove that bolt. So the car has been running for a few minutes, I just turned it off and there's no leaks at all. Though as you can see I did manage to get a bit of spillage since that uh, jack stand was in the way of my catch can. But the fuel filter job is done and now I can continue running on E85. The main reason for my changing the fuel filter this quickly again was that I've been running a few uh, tanks worth of E85 and this can actually dissolve a lot of sludge in the tank and uh, risk filling up the old fuel filter. So now I have a fresh fuel filter and hopefully now the, the car will run well even on ethanol. So thank you very much for watching yet another video from Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Yes, my car is dirty. Please do fill out the comment section with comments on this. And also, yes, it is rusty and I'm very sad about that. But anyway, have a nice summer and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.